It's kind of weird that horror movies are so enjoyable. Why do we take such great pleasure in scaring the hell out of ourselves? If you want to see the darkest horror movies, you should definitely watch our picks for top 10 the best scary horror movies ever made. It's time to grab your favorite movie time snack and try not to get scared. You think you're learning how to beat me. Now you've only got yourself to blame for that innocent. Host 2020 Host 2020 is a British horror film directed by Rob Savage and starring Haley Bishop, Gemma Moore, Emma Louise Webb, Radina Drandova, Carolyn Ward, and Edward Lennart as a group of friends who hold a seance via Zoom during the COVID-19 pandemic lockdown. They hire a medium named Salen, played by Salen Baxter, who guides them through the ritual. However, things go wrong when one of them, Gemma, fakes a connection with a spirit named Jack. She unknowingly invites a malevolent entity that starts to haunt and kill them one by one. They try to survive and end the Zoom call before it's too late. The film was made with a budget of $35,000 and grossed $443,807 at the box office. It received positive reviews from critics and audiences who praised its direction, script, and scares. The film is not rated and is suitable for fans of screen life horror and found footage films. <laughs> His House 2020 His House 2020 is a British horror film directed by Remy Weeks and starring Soap Desiru and Bal Majur and Wonmi Masaku as Real Majur, a refugee couple who flee from war-torn South Sudan to England. They are granted asylum and assigned a dilapidated house in London. They try to adjust to their new life and follow the rules of their caseworker Mark, played by Matt Smith. However, they soon realize that their house is haunted by an evil spirit called an Apeth, which torments them with visions of their past and their daughter Nyagak, who died during their escape. They learn that the Apeth is a manifestation of their guilt and grief, and that they have to face it or lose their home. The film was released by Netflix in the US and received positive reviews from critics and audiences who praised its direction, script, and social commentary. The film is rated R and is suitable for fans of supernatural horror and haunted house films. There's no witch enough. Get down! This is my house! This is my house! You don't wonder what it tells me. The Invisible Man 2020 The Invisible Man 2020 is an American horror film directed by Lee Wannell and starring Elizabeth Moss as Cecilia Cass a woman who escapes from her abusive boyfriend Adrian Griffin, played by Oliver Jackson Cohen, a wealthy scientist who specializes in optics. She learns that Adrian has committed suicide and left her his fortune. However, she also suspects that he is not really dead, but has faked his death and used his technology to make himself invisible. She becomes paranoid and convinced that he is stalking her and trying to ruin her life. She tries to prove his existence and stop him before he hurts her or her loved ones. The film was made with a budget of $7 million and grossed $143 million at the box office. It received positive reviews from critics and audiences who praised its direction, script, and Moss's performance. The film is rated R and is suitable for fans of science fiction horror and psychological thriller films. Let me help you. Can help me. She Dies Tomorrow 2020 She Dies Tomorrow 2020 is an American horror film directed by Amy Simons and starring Caitlin Scheel as Amy, a woman who becomes convinced that she is going to die the next day. She tells her friend Jane, played by Jane Addams, about her premonition. Jane initially dismisses her as delusional, but she soon becomes infected with the same idea. She spreads it to others, including her brother Jason, played by Chris Messina, his wife Susan, played by Katie Iselton, their friends Brian and Tilly, played by Tunde Adabimpe and Jennifer Kim, and a doctor named Kelsey, played by Olivia Taylor Dudley. They all experience existential dread and cope with their impending doom in different ways. The film was released by Neon in the US. It received positive reviews from critics and audiences who praised its direction, script, and atmosphere. The film is rated R and is suitable for fans of existential horror and surreal films. 
do this. I'm not ready. The Vast of Night 2020 the Vast of Night 2020 is an American horror film directed by Andrew Patterson and starring Sierra McCormick as Faye Crocker and Jake Horowitz as Everett Sloan, two teenagers who work at a radio station and a switchboard in a small town in New Mexico in the 1950s. They discover a strange audio frequency that interferes with their signals. They investigate the source of the sound and encounter various witnesses who claim to have seen or heard something unusual in the sky. They realize that they are dealing with a possible extraterrestrial phenomenon that could change their lives and the world. The film was made with a budget of $700,000 and was released by Amazon Studios in the US. It received positive reviews from critics and audiences who praised its direction, cinematography and homage to classic science fiction. The film is rated PG-13 and is suitable for fans of science fiction horror and mystery films. Swallow 2020 Swallow 2020 is an American horror film directed by Carlo Marilabella Davis and starring Haley Bennett as Hunter Conrad, a pregnant woman who lives in a luxurious house with her husband Richie, played by Austin Stowell, a wealthy businessman. She suffers from pica, a psychological disorder that makes her compulsively swallow an edible object such as marbles, batteries, and pins. She tries to hide her condition from her husband and family who are controlling and abusive. She also learns that her pregnancy is at risk due to her behavior. She seeks therapy and tries to overcome her disorder. She also discovers a dark secret about her husband's past and her own identity. The film was released by IFC Films in the US. It received positive reviews from critics and audiences who praised its direction, script and Bennett's performance. The film is rated R and is suitable for fans of body horror and psychological drama films. Uh, I'm right here. I just wanted to make you happy. No, get back here! I did. Here are the top 10 scariest dark horror movies in the world. These best horror movies of all time don't just want to haunt your nightmares, they want to sneak under your skin to haunt you in your waking moments too. Do you agree with our list? Let us know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video and want to see more, check out other clips from Top 10 Movies Horror, and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of our latest videos.